Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. ZT is making waves today at CES 2013 in Las Vegas, Nevada. How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron Baker with Techno Buffalo, and you can see the show is going on. It's day one, and here's the ZTE Grand S. This thing was announced just a few hours ago, and specs-wise, it's going toe-to-toe -to -toe or head-to-head, -head, depending on how you say it, against the HTC Droid DNA and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Just to give you a quick rundown of specs, it's got a 5 inch 1920 by 1080p full HD display. So as you can tell by this one and a couple of the other devices we've seen at CES, 1080p is the name of the game right now. So it mimics the Droid DNA in a lot of ways and we're seeing that become the, the buzzword, if you will, or the buzz feature maybe of 2013. You also get two gigabytes of RAM. It's got a Snapdragon S4 Pro 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor, a 13 megapixel camera on the back with 1080p HD video recording, as you can see right there, and a really thin, light, sleek form factor with a volume rocker on the right side, micro SD card slot. Over here, SIM card slot, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top along with your power button and then physical buttons down here just below the 4.7 inch display. Let's take a look here. Tap an icon to use it. Let's just go through the menu here. Looks like some customizations thanks to ZTE. Pinch into back. Am I, let's see, there we go, that works. And we can run it just like that. So you can see some customizations based on ZTE's look and feel here. You can see a little bit of a difference with the bottom part here, the menu area, you can see the notifications bar, very different all around with the green color scheme, control switches up top, favorite applications, and then notifications up here at the top as well. Settings, clear, and of course I can clear it out because it is running a later version of Android. Let's actually check and see, it should be running 4.1 if I recall, but we'll double check. Yeah, 4.1.2. And you can really see that they've customized the look and feel in a lot of ways of Android. Composing here, so you can see what the keyboard looks like. But overall, relatively fluid, thanks to that quad-core 1.7 gigahertz processor, but definitely some customization, so it's a love-hate thing. Unfortunately, we're likely not going to see this on any of the major carriers. Never say never, right? Hey, Justin Bieber reference. But never say never, but you know what? We probably won't see it on a Verizon, a Sprint, or an AT&T. Where we will see it perhaps is on, if any carrier nationwide, T-Mobile, perhaps a prepaid carrier, if they can get the price point down low enough to uh, make it worthwhile for prepaid customers. It's a nice device all around. It's great to see ZTE get up to speed, but again, it's all about carrier distribution agreements. That's the name of the game in 2013. The more carriers you can get on, the better. We've seen great success from Apple, from Samsung in the past, because of their ability to market and get it available on a bunch of different carriers. That's what we're seeing right here. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. I'm on Twitter at Aaron C. Baker. The company's on Twitter as well at Techno Buffalo and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Techno Buffalo. More coverage to come from CES 2013 in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a wild show. Stay tuned for more at technobuffalo.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.